Oh my god, everyone, it's only three stops away. Oh, this is so exciting again. Oh. Oh, oh, this could be it. This could be it, everyone. Oh my god, this could be it. Coming up with the drive. I hope it is. It's not in a yodel van, but but it could be. It could be. It could be. Oh my god. We've got to go and check. We've got to go and check. We have to go and check this. Okay, we've just had confirmation it's here. It's actually here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go again. To the excitement. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Normal, normal, normal. Come on. Is it here? Oh my god. A few moments later. I've got it once again. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Excitement 2.0. Let's go, let's go. <sighs> okay. Time to cut once again to the cool stuff. Right then, here we are. Once again, we are ready for another very exciting unboxing. So, hopefully this goes a bit better than the last unboxing, because we know how that went when I tried to open the box. <laughs> so, I have once again a trusty Stanley knife. Please be careful with these things, they are rather sharp. So, let's go! PS4, let's... PS4, PS5. This box seems a little easier to open than the Xbox. You know, this is just a... A two little, you know, you cut the cellar tape off and then you're good to go, you know, you just... Okay, okay, here we go, whoa, so close. Okay, I think we put the box again. That was a funky sound. Okay, so, here goes. Not quite ready, this was supposed to be nice and elegant, but when is there anything I do elegant? Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, oh, here it is. Holy cow. So this comes in a bit of a bigger box because the deal I got with this PS5 was I got an extra controller with it because that was the only one they had in stock. So I was like, hey, why not? Okay, let's get this out of here, shall we? Okay, PlayStation controller, an extra one. You know, never know when you might need an extra controller. Always good to have on hand. Although actually, I'm not sure if um, you can actually connect the PS4 to the PS5. Unlike like with the Xbox, so I hope you can, but yeah, we've got two controllers just in case. We're probably gonna have to take this. No, no. Okay, okay. The most elegant, oh, also, this also came with uh, 12 months of uh, PlayStation Plus as well. Let's grab it from here, there we go. Oh, <laughs> get out of the way, box. Get out of here, box. Go down there. No, go over there. <laughs> No, no. It's gone. Okay, so this is the the blue box. We had the we had the green box last week. So we have 8K. Uh 8K, 4K HDR. What else is what else have we got? So let me show. Let me show. There you go. What do you think? Very nice, very nice. Okay, so let's go. This is the where this is actually lying on its side, so let's lift it up. Okay, let's see. I'm interested to see how the uh, the unboxing experience is. So let's just spin this round. So we've actually got play like never before. Lightning speed, breathtaking immersion, stunning games. Okay, this is a little bit like there's actually like less information on this one compared to the Xbox. So let's take off these little things. Actually, we'll probably use the the knife again, and we'll just cut here. I'm trying to do this gracefully, you know, always try and do unboxes very carefully, just in case you have to send anything back. So, this opens like the top, hello there. Um, so this opens and we've got like an eye shape for some reason, and that's where the handle goes. Uh, right. Uh, okay, then do we just lift? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh. Where's my face gone? It's still here, don't worry. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. And here we go. We now have a box. Inside a box, we have the PlayStation logo on it. Very good, very good. Okay, let's see too extreme at the moment. Here we go. Here it goes. Oh, look, it tells you. Number one, pull out this thing. Flip it over and pull it out. Okay. Ah, look, there's a little pulley thing here. So that comes off. This is presumably, this is presumably the cables. 
I don't need those just yet. Okay, and then put this on its side and pull out. Okay, that does seem sensible. Thank you, thank you, box instructions. Here we go. Here comes the big, the big chungus that people have been calling the PS5. I'm just interested. It looks so. It looks so on the pictures. It looks so much bigger than Xbox and the Xbox. And I have no idea where this is going to go. By the way. Oh, 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 oh. Here it is. Do not drop it. This would be the worst moment, but also the best moment for the you know for, for the lols. That would be that would be the best. Okay. There's more boxes in this one, and I have to say, I think the overall like. Get out. Oh, I have no idea if this is in the green screen or not. If not, it'll, if it is, it'll be funny. There you go. Okay, so I have to say, like, currently, the unboxing, like, experience was better with the Xbox. Like, it looks more visually impressive. This kind of seems like more, like, just practical, I suppose, which isn't a bad thing, but, like, I think, you know, the experience with the PlayStation starts from the box. It's not, it doesn't, not just when you plug it in and stuff. It's actually the whole, you know, the whole package. And as a designer, the user experience of things is very important. So, here it is. Ho, 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 which is the top? This is the top. Here it is, everybody. Okay. Okay, it's not actually as, it's not like, Huge. I thought it was going to be considerably bigger, but I mean, I guess it is. That is big, isn't it? Like, you compare that to my, like, the PS4 Slim. This is huge. And, like, I, I, it's not bad. It's not bad. Also, also, the disc tray looks smaller than it should be for some reason. Um, so, here we go. Where's the... There we go. This is the side. Look at that. Very nice. Very minimal. I think, again, at the moment, Xbox is winning in terms of the... I think overall aesthetic and unboxing. So I actually got the one with the disc drive just in case, because I thought you can always download them, but if you, I ever did need a disc, I can use it as well. So that's the main front. It's white with a logo on, you know, very cool. It feels nice and smooth. We've got a little Sony icon there. Uh, we have a little disc. So if we have a look at the actual buttons on here, we've got a USB, a a mini USB, uh, a USB-C, got that as well. And then we also have the on button as well as the eject button. And then on the back, we have the power cable, HDMI, we also have an ethernet as well as two more USBs. And that's pretty much it. It looks great. I, I'm enjoying this very much. It's a shame, I feel like the logo should be on this side as well, but hey ho, beggars can't be choosers. There we go. So we're going to try and find a spot for this. I think it could go next to the Xbox. I hope it goes next to the Xbox. If it doesn't, I don't know where it's going to go. So we're going to do that. But yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of the PlayStation itself. But we also have the controllers as well. Does it? I could only see one controller so far. Probably going to try and find the other one. So the other things in the box are the following. We have the power cable, of course. Can't go, can't go anywhere with that. Uh, we also have the HDMI again. Very nice. Is this this the Xbox one said like super fast? This one this one doesn't say anything. Um, and then we also have the power cable for the controller and the stand, which I assume I'm supposed to put it on. But at the moment, it seems to be uh, it seems to be standing okay on its own. But only only time will tell. It, it seems it seems pretty sturdy. So right. So when it comes to the the controller, I actually think I prefer the upgrades they've made on this PlayStation 5 controller compared to the uh, compared to the Xbox controller because I don't know I think there's more of a significant difference and it actually feels to be honest it feels a bit a bit sturdier than the Xbox one the the, the thumbs the, everything kind of I don't know I feel like the grips better as well my hands are as probably as sweaty as before uh, but I feel like the grips a bit better and this does feel I feel like everything's in your hands a bit better i feel like there isn't as much length to the controller so like if you do if you're doing the claw grip thing i feel like doing the claw grips a bit easier well certainly for, uh, i might be doing this wrong by the way um so yeah but i the one thing i don't like like the the buttons and stuff they kind of have this like glass glass coating on which i don't know well i guess it's plastic but i don't know that 
I, I wasn't expecting it to have that on, so that it, they, they feel nice, but I don't know whether I don't know whether they look that great. But it feels nice in your hands. Uh, you've got the the big new pad. Hopefully they use this a bit more. And then that's where the chargers go. L1, R1, and everything is in pretty much the same place. These have moved, uh, but again, I think they're in more like uh, ergonomic place. And uh, we have the little PlayStation. Oh, you can press that as well. So we've got this, and then we've just gonna open the uh, the other controller as well. Right, okay, let's get into this baby. Let's watch Redhead attempt to open boxes. Which you clearly cannot do properly. Controller unboxing, very similar style. They've got the out case, this little plastic thing. Uh, and then there's another box that you pull up. Okay, coming out, dual sense. Uh, yep, heighten your senses, haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, built-in microphone. Signature comfort. Oh, that's interesting. A built-in microphone. I'm sure they all have that, don't they? I'm sure they've done that in old, in old consoles. Okay. And again, let's open this. Open the magical box. And I'm assuming we get a power cable with it. We get some instructions. But there you go. There's my, my pair of... Uh, my pair of PlayStation 5 controllers. I don't think there's anything... There's a power cable. Oh. Okay, so... Just hit myself with that. So apparently it doesn't come with a charger, which is weird. Hang on, let me check the box. Okay then, Sony. Uh, I guess we don't get a, a, a charger cable, which is bizarre. That's weird. I'm sure I should, surely, surely that should have come with a cable. I mean, it doesn't matter what ton, but if you, okay then. Fine, okay, guess, guess, guess no, no charger cable for us then. Right then, well, I think that actually, that's nice. I think that actually concludes the unboxing stage. So again, like last time, I'm just gonna plug this in and we're gonna check out the menu, see what's there, probably install some games because I believe any game you bought on PS4, you can then, it like, it transfers with your account, which is good. Um, so I can just reinstall BFN and God of War 2. I might have to buy God of War 1 though, but. I don't mind that because that won't be that expensive, hopefully. Um, so yeah, let's head over there then, shall we? Okay, so here we are in the PlayStation 5 menu. Unfortunately, I couldn't do like the walkthrough bit because of how the Elgato capture card works. You have to turn off an option in the settings. So I had to do all the kind of the boring stuff uh, before I showed you guys. So we're just going to take a tour. I'm going to show you through some of the some of the things. And we have one very important thing to do, but we'll get to that at the end. So... This is very nicely laid out. It's very similar to obviously the PS4 menu, but it, it looks a bit more modern. It's had a fresh coat of paint and I quite, quite enjoy it. And also the one thing I have to say is the menu music is very zen. I feel very zenified. So yeah, it's, uh, it's really, really nice. A couple of things in terms of like when turning on the PlayStation and stuff. Firstly, it's super quiet like the Xbox, like it literally makes no noise. However, the disk drive is very loud. I have Battle for Neighborville on uh, on disk, so I had to put that in for it to download. But yeah, that's 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 really loud. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, that's that's pretty loud. However, the install itself seemed to run pretty smooth, seemed quicker than the Xbox One, and it probably helps that I also already have a PlayStation account. You can send across all your games that you've already installed on your PS4, and it's got all my details. I just had to log in with my email and stuff. So yeah, that was that was pretty much straightforward for me uh, so let's take a look at the menu so first thing to note as well as you swap to each section on this it has a different sound which is nice they all have their own unique sound so I guess I don't know it's just a really nice touch and it kind of helps for navigation I suppose so the first one of course we have the PlayStation Store we have Miles Morales there looking very nice so yeah so this is just where the store is uh, pretty straightforward it suggests some things so obviously it's saying why not buy some rainbow stars I'm not buying rainbow stars uh, so yeah so this is just the main store so we've got some collections subscriptions and you can just browse which is a very good word uh, so yeah, there's a number of things there. Then you have whatever game is ready to go, uh, whichever is your last play game. We also have Astro's Playroom, which is what you get free with the PlayStation, and it just basically, I think it's kind of showing off what 
the new controller can do, what the new technology can do. I haven't been in it, but yeah, it sounds interesting. We might take we might take a look at that in another video. Um, then you have PlayStation Plus. Um, I do have PlayStation Plus. I did get a year with my uh, with my bundle that I bought. So yeah, that's always good. I mean, there's not too much to to talk about really. It's pretty much straightforward. It looks nice. It sounds nice. Uh, everything's where you'd expect it to be. We have PlayStation Now. Um, a lot of things that I don't really use, but um, yeah, it, it, it seems a lot less complicated than the other one. There seemed a lot uh, a lot of useless things in the old PS4. I mean, I don't use my PS4 that much, uh, but I didn't I didn't use my PS4 that much. Uh, but yeah, there's also the media gallery, so anything you take uh, clips of, if you don't obviously use external capturing software, you can all find it there. Then there's also the share factory, which is oh this is this was not what it was. Build your legacy, personalize, share your great. So yeah, this is where you could kind of like I, I I assume this is kind of like editing software. So that that that's interesting. I don't think I'll be using it, but hey ho. Uh, remote play. I'm going to hide this because you can actually connect to your PS4 or PS5 through this through this. We've used remote play before. I had proper capture a proper capture card. Uh, we used that. And then your game library, and this will uh, very conveniently put across all the games you have uh, already installed, or any games you had on your PS4. So we have our view here, and also anyone that any of them that require a disc have a nice little locked symbol on, which might be confusing, but yeah, it, that just lets you know if you need to put the disc in to install it. Um, but I'm not sure if you can play without the disc once it's installed. I I hope so, but yeah, you might not. You might not be able to. Um, and then, yeah, then we also have the media section. This is where you can get Netflix and all like different sort of entertainment sort of apps. I haven't installed any because I, I won't watch them on here. But yeah, it's it's all everything's pretty straightforward. I can't really. There's no real like complaints about it. I haven't noticed anything anything bad. Uh, I guess again, you can go up here, and this is where you can view, view your profile, um, all the usual stuff. And then we also have settings as well, which I've been through. There's nothing too uh, too difficult to explain. It it just looks very nice. It does the job. I mean, I'm not wow. There's nothing particularly new uh, here, but it works and you know the amount of time you spend in here yes it's it's a bit but you know you'll be playing games so it does the job it, it works really nice so if you bring the menu up it lets you get access to uh, a lot of little things so these are again it's like the xbox but xbox button you can just get to everything really quickly if you need to this will pop up in game so there's music we've got game base which i assume these are all the people either on your friends list another good thing is your friend list does uh, carry over as well notifications um but oh yeah it's it works really nicely there's not really much there's not really much for me to say about this part but it's good however however the biggest thing the one thing we have to try for any of you who have been on this channel for a while you will know that for months and months I have been plagued by not being able to get into Battle for Neighborville on my PS4. But this could end right here, right now. We are going to see if we can get into Battle for Neighborville because this could be, this could be a defining moment. If you can actually hear, you might actually be able to hear the disc drive. It's actually really loud. It's louder than the PS4 one. In my opinion. I could be wrong, but it sounds louder. Okay, here we go, PopCap. Don't let me down. Please don't let me down. Don't make me have got a new console and it's still not worked. Come on! You can do this. Okay, let's accept. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We might see if we can get a, a bit of a, a bit of a game in here as well. Ooh, this is so exciting. Come on, come on. I know we're we're all wait we're all waiting on this. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, faster load times, they say. <laughs> Not in this game. <laughs> Maybe this is this is the first time I've loaded it up. Loaded up. I didn't check it earlier. I made sure. I was like, right, we're going to do this. We're going to do this live-ish. <laughs> come on. Oh, I don't think this is going to work. I honestly don't think this is going to work. Jesus. If this doesn't work, ladies and gents, I don't know. I don't know what. To, I don't know what to do. It's my account. I don't know. I don't know what could cause it. Okay, we're gonna try again. Attempt number two. Come on, come on, Happy Daisy. No, that's uh, Marigold. Come on. Well, first attempt. Take two. Come on, please. 
don't turn. Please don't do this to me. Okay, attempt number two didn't work. We're going to try a restart. Third time's a charm. Come on. We can do this. We can do it. 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 That seemed like it was different. Ooh! Come on, come on, come on. That daisy looks much happier this time. Looks much speedier. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. It's slowing down. No, don't slow down on me. No. Oh, 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 oh. Is it? It's been about, I don't know, two or three minutes. Oh! No! No! Oh my god! Not even with a PS5! Can we get into battle for Neighborville? Oh my actual god! Oh, really? The plague continues, everyone. We have a new PlayStation, but still, we cannot get into this game. Oh, you are... D <laughs> okay. Well, at least we got, we got the trailer, but really? 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 Well, everyone, what a way to end this video. I tell you what. I think I'm just going to have to try and download the digital version and see if that fixes it. But, honestly, this is ridiculous. Ah! Well, everyone, <laughs> we will be seeing Battle for Neverville on PS5. I'm sure we will, but not just yet. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for joining me for this unboxing. Not quite the ending I was going for, but hey-ho. Let's just try... Oh, let's try one more time. Let's just try one more time quickly. Oh! Oh, hang on! It might be in, but we still had the same problem as before. Nope, I'm still I'm still convinced this isn't going to work. I am so convinced this isn't going to work. Well, once again, we've been stuck on this load screen for ages, so I just I just don't think it's going to work. I'm just it's just not going to work. Oh my god, everyone. Yeah. Uh, I thought the pain was going to end. But the pain continues. Anyway, guys, that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. But other than that, remember to subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.